All right, we've just gone over um, information on how to download Rhino and the fact that you can um, uh, get the, the demo version for uh, both Mac and PC. Um, and I just want to add that um, if you decide you're working with the demo version, it's it's completely functional. Um, it will serve the purposes for what you need for this course. Uh, there won't be uh, any additional uh, things that you would be missing uh, if you were were to use the uh, the demo or evaluation version, it's just that it, in 90 days, uh, you know, you won't be able to use it. So your files that you have made, though, with Rhino um, that you have saved during the evaluation uh, time period, they will still be, uh, you know, open. You can open those on um, uh, license versions later on. So if you do choose to purchase later. Um, you you will be able to access those uh, files. So uh, just want to let everybody know that's uh, it's not a problem. It's not like you have to buy um, uh, the full version to be able to to be successful in this class. Uh, so uh, I wanted to just spend uh, a little bit of time and talk about the differences um, between Mac and PC. Uh, I had sent out a survey earlier uh, last week uh, to kind of inquire, and I think most people, most users in the class are going to be um, uh, Mac users. Uh, so I'm going to spend probably the majority of my time uh, on the Mac version as I do demos just to make that a little bit uh, easier for uh, the majority of the class. But that said, I wanted to just take a little bit of time in this video and show what some of those differences are. Um, and it's mainly uh, interface uh, differences. So um, we're just going to click over to um, the Mac version. And so I think, actually, I think I've got mine. Yeah, I've got a copy already open. So this is uh, Rhino uh, for Mac, I mean, Rhino 6 for Mac. Um, you'll notice the, the layout um, where you've got viewport you've got a top a perspective a front and a right viewport um, you've got a command bar which is where you can begin if i just started typing without even clicking in that um, you know if i said type circle um, it would give me the option and i it will basically communicate information to me through this command bar area so it's asking me where i want the center of my circle to be I can click and then click again. And so that uh, is always kind of like uh, the command bar will kind of overtake some of your commands, uh, your icons for your commands in this uh, in this area. You also have what are called uh, O snaps or object snaps. That is in this uh, viewport right here. Your layer view is listed here. And then uh, I have a, an object properties window that I have open. Uh, as well, and that's uh, showing right here. And then you'll notice that you have different options for grid snap, ortho, planar, smart track, gumball, and history at the top of this screen. Um, I will note that you can um, change this. Uh, you can get rid of the left sidebar. I, I don't know why you would. I, I usually keep this open, um, but that's uh, that's really that's the layout for um, Rhino in. The Mac OS. Now I'm going to go ahead and open um, the WIP version, the work in progress version, and I am going to probably work a little bit from the work in progress version um, as the semester progresses. So I just want you to kind of be aware. So if it starts to look a little bit different, that's why. Um, before I do that, though, I do want to note that all the top bar commands are the same uh, in. Um, the Windows versus Mac. It's going to be down here in these in these graphic regions um, or user interface regions down in here that, that things are a little bit different. So let's go to the um, actually let's let's skip and go to the PC version just so you can see the difference there. So we don't don't get confused by the uh, work in progress version. So I'm going to go to the uh, GPU um, UDES GPU version on the PC. I I can. Um, for those of you using PC, I jump back and forth all the time between PC and Mac. Um, a lot of my software, other software that I use is PC only based. So, um, so if you do have questions, I learned on PC, uh, learned Mac or Rhino on PC first because that was the only platform operating system that it was uh, released on. 
Mac took a long time to become uh, to be developed. So uh, I'm I'm very comfortable in both uh, in both uh, OS versions of Rhino. So you'll notice your command bar where I would type in again like circle. It is up here at the top. Um, it's still going to ask me for you know if I want the center of the circle or whatever. You've got the same viewports, top, perspective, front, and right. Um, so that's the same. You, instead of your uh, object snaps being up uh, or being down here at this bottom area, it's actually all the way at the bottom. So this is where your object snaps are, where it says in, near, point, mid. You'll notice that when I typed in a command, these, did, these icons were not covered up. So those are always kind of accessible. And then um, you'll notice that over here, I've got my toolbar uh, uh, area for um, layers. If I want to change between layers, I can also turn on the object properties window, which I had above in the Rhino or in the Mac version. And um, so that's where that's located. You'll notice that the grid snap ortho planer that was used to be on the Mac version, it's, it's up here, is now down here. And then, the, like I said earlier, the menu options are all the same between file, edit, view, curve, etc. So those are all the same. So no difference is there. It's mainly uh, just in the kind of graphic layout. Um, you will see that the PC version winds up with these tabbed panels up above. That's unique to the PC version. So we can go to C plane, set view. And all this does is just give you other access points for the same commands that are actually listed uh, up above. And we're going to talk a little bit about how Rhino uses um, multiple methods, whether it be icons or command bar um, uh, access or actually typing it in into the command bar. You can access the various um, parts of Rhino. In, in about three or four different ways. So it's whatever you're comfortable with or you become comfortable with. So you'll notice that when I switch to the work in progress version, what it does is it starts to merge um, the two platforms a little bit more. And I think that's what we'll be looking toward Rhino 7. It will probably change um, to a interface that is more um, standardized between the two OS. So that's been a big complaint, I think, of users is the fact that the that the graphic interface is different between uh, Rhino or between um, Mac and PC. So um, anyway, I thought, you know, seeing that would be helpful. So again, here's the PC version. Now let's jump back over to the Mac version so you can see things are just a little bit different in the layout. Um, I think they tried to go a little cleaner when the, when the Mac version came out and kind of hide and tuck certain things away. Uh, that we're in the PC version. So it's, it's a little bit more simplified. Still uh, just as functional though. So um, no matter what uh, OS uh, you know platform you're working on, you'll be able to do all the same things as far as the tutorials go. Uh, it will be pretty pretty standardized there. So um, there, there are the difference there. Now if I go to work in progress version, let's open up a new model. And we'll see. And okay, and and then this out, uh, uh, layout, you can see that they've kept the the same Mac layout here. You've got your command bar, you've got your object snaps. Uh, they st still have placed grid snap, ortho planer, all of those commands up at the top instead of the bottom. Your object properties window is the same. Layers view is the same, but they build in the tabs that we had in the PC version so you can access those. So just a little bit um, uh, more standardized across the two platforms. So again, if you're um, working on one of these platforms or you're watching my demos, I will probably I real, will probably work a lot from the uh, work in progress or from the Mac version. Uh, but uh, if, if you have any questions, those of you who are on a PC, please, please, please reach out um, if you've got any problems or you're having trouble finding uh, the commands. I'll try to point out uh, differences as I go through if there's a, a specific thing that I do or command that I do where it might be uh, different, I will try to point that out. Uh, but for the time being, uh, I thought this would just be a, a nice overview for you to kind of see what the differences are between the uh, two platforms, okay?